Good morning. And welcome back to our 24 hour travelers channel. Uh, before I continue, I just want to apologize for the nakedness of our van. We don't have a ceiling on right now. We took down the Reflectix and we took down the cabinets because we're actually repainting. Uh, today we're doing a short vlog about why we bought the Toyota Light Ace and uh, how much it cost us to make it into a camper van. Right. Right? Yeah, people actually wrote in and said, why Why did you buy the Toyota Light Ace? I mean, there's so, so many other options, but why the Toyota Light Ace? So, top five reasons. Reason number one is reliability. So, in Malaysia and as well as Asia, Toyota is one of the most reliable vehicles out there. Number two. Number two, spare parts. Spare parts, yes. It's uh, abundant in Malaysia, especially Toyota, because uh, you can just call all the half-cut dealers in Malaysia to ask for anything you, you're actually looking for. They have everything, everything. Because at once we used to own an Opel. For that also, even uh, trying to call for screws, they say, oh, this is just impossible to get. So, lesson learned. So that was something that we had to learn the hard way. We had to actually change the Opel's engine to a Nissan engine in order to actually drive it for a couple of years before we just got rid of the car. So reason number three is price. It's cheap. It's 10,000 ringgit for year 1995 and we got it from this owner. One owner van, really cheap compared to the van that we went to see. We saw the VW Transporter, we actually saw the uh, High Ace, a brand new High Ace. We also went to see the Ford Transit. We went to see the Plutus camper van, right? And we also went to see the Fiat, which is about 650,000, way above our budget. 650,000 is way beyond our budget. Yeah. Four. Easy maintenance. Um, it's fairly easy to change all the uh, engine oil, the spark plugs, and uh, axle oil, and basically the major service. And we can share you the link up here. Where we actually send the car for a service, and we learned from our friend mechanic, Joe of Blueprint Garage and he actually taught Renee how to service the van himself. Reason number five is that this is our first build. Don't want to spend too much money on our first build. We had a budget of about 20,000 ringgit and uh, we didn't cross that budget. Now we're going to talk about budget. How much exactly we spent building our DIY camper van? Because recently somebody wrote in and said, how much do you guys spend overall for this Toyota like this? So we thought we want to share this in today's vlog. The main purchase was the actual van. So that cost us 10,000 ringgit. Then the next big purchase uh, was the uh, actual solar setup. Uh, we are not electricians and we're not good with things like that. So we wanted something that was plug and play. We chose the Goal Zero. We have a 400 watt solar generator and a 90 watt panel that cost us about 4,000 ringgit. Mm -hmm. We will share the video of how easy to use this Goal Zero in the near future, so stay tuned for that. The next big purchase was the roof tent and the roof rack. Because the Toyota Light Ace is a, has a very tiny interior, we couldn't sleep in the lower area, so we decided to make a bedroom up top. Uh, we got that from Extract and I'll leave you the, the link below to their actual Facebook page so that you can go and check out all the, uh, their other uh, roof tents that they sell. The next purchase, purchase number four. It's the soundproofing. As you can see here, these are all the material that we use for soundproofing and it's really, really useful and uh, you avoid the sound from coming from the outside in. We actually found a video on YouTube that uh, shared how they did soundproofing a cheaper way and we actually followed that video. If you want to check out that video, I'll leave it in the description box below as well. It costs us how much for this? Uh... Oh yeah, so, so the soundproofing costs us 250 ringgit. It's really easy to do because they have a glue on one end, so all you have to do is just measure and then stick it all on. And the next thing we did was heat insulation. Now the Toyota Light Ace is built with the two front seats sitting on the engine area. And when we drove the van without any heat insulation, uh, we sweat a lot because we live in Malaysia and it's just a hot country, tropical climate. We went online and we Googled and we found that ceramic wool placed above the engine bay area can cut the heat transferred upwards, right? Yes, it did. And uh, so far it's not really that hot. I mean, it gets hot if you've traveled like what? more than eight hours nine hours but it's not as hot as the previous one that cost us 150 ringgit and we did that ourselves mm -hmm. again you can watch that video 
in the link above here. And then finally, we uh, purchased the Reflectix and we got that for about 150 ringgit. Mm -hmm. It's really cheap and it's really effective. We put it all in the panels around the van and uh, as well as the ceiling but it's not here right now because we're we're fine-tuning the ceiling today finally was our cabinets our cabinet build was about a thousand ringgit it got us our little kitchen and some storage and upper storage up here which we had to take down because we had to repaint it I also like to show, be very careful of if let's say you use the plywood make sure you paint it so be sure that you coat it with oil-based paint or something that will stop the actual smell and smell it, yeah there's it, a it weird can really smell. hurt your eyes if it you're makes not your eyes careful sting. Mm -hmm. the chemicals they actually use to treat the wood but if you can use natural wood like pine wood or any other kind of wood i suggest you do that that brings us to a grand total of 20150 ringgit from buying the van to building the camper and putting in everything that we needed and that stayed within our budget how much would that be in usd well below 5000 usd i think the reason why we work around the budget is because along the way we probably will learn more and uh, the reason also is because we want to hit the road and uh, what's important is to spend it on our journey before anything else we also did look at trucks and the, all the other vehicles but again this was cost effective and functional at the same time so in our future videos we'll be talking about our solar setup the goal zero because renee is a musician and he will be uh, traveling on the road to perform in certain places and he'd like to just plug and play his instruments easy setup really like from the house plug that you use that's the reason why we got the goal zero yep so in future we'll also be talking about how we shower in our van and uh, how we sleep up in the tent and how we cook in the van and how this van just functions on the road for us so stay tuned we hope you enjoyed this vlog and uh, we'll see you soon peace bye Please remember to subscribe as we will continue to share our journey towards full-time travel. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned.